Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Nellie Ruth Designs. It's an early morning. I've got my coffee here with me, and I'm going to... This is a little different video. I've already finished my page for the 18th, um, so I'm going to show that to you really quick, a sneak peek in the beginning, and then I'm going to actually show you how um, it was created. So... First of all, I want to thank everybody for joining in. It's very close to Christmas, and I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas today. Um, and I will see you after um, the Christmas holiday. I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of time to spend with family, and um, I know I do. All the little kids are going to be playing with their toys, and they're going to be going to house to house. So um, I'm going to post videos again after the 20th after the 25th. So <clears throat> I want to show you, this was one of the last pages that we had did, the 14th, 15th. And then on the 16th, um, these are two really fun pages. I'm going to adjust the camera down a little bit more, okay? A little bit more, because I want you to be able to see them. So these two pages here, and I'm sorry if this has a glare, this is a glassine bag. Um, the 16th, I received news, some sad news, and I received a wonderful piece of happy mail. So I wanted to make the 16th a page um, that friends are everywhere, and they truly are everywhere. You never know who's thinking about you. And this page here is dedicated to my mom's siblings. So um, the morning of the 16th, I learned that my Aunt Rosie had passed away. She was 94 and she was the youngest of my mother's siblings. So I wanted to do a little page to honor her, my mom, and her siblings. Um, so I took the Tim Holtz Little People figurines, and these are the small ones, and my mom had, well, there was two, four, six, seven of them. So she had six siblings. She was number seven. And what I did was I, I labeled them. So we have all of their names here. This is my Aunt Rosie was the youngest. So I picked out the youngest um, child I could find in the Tim Holtz package. And I chose this one for my mom because she was always such a wonderful dresser and she made her own clothes and she loved hats. And then I have her three brothers here and then um, her three sisters here. So, and I just made a nice little tuck spot with this glassine bag here. Um, I wrote a little letter to my Aunt Rosie in here. And then um, right here, I, this is the day, this is the date that she passed away on 11-17. Um, so I just stamped that. And then, you know, so I got that news um, in the morning and of course it saddened me and I was, I was pretty upset. Um, and then later that day in the mail, I received the sweetest postcard from an Instagram gal that we we keep in contact on Instagram. And she's purchased from me um, in my Etsy shop um, before. And this is from Missy. And she sent me the most beautiful um, postcard, Christmas postcard. And it's basically dedicated to my mom. She was thinking about me and my mom, wrote a lovely note here, just, you know, saying that she wanted to wish me a happy and bright Christmas. And um, she wanted to um, create something um, in memory of my mom. And I just, God bless her. She's just such a sweet gal. So she used my mom. She pointed out that she used pieces of my mom's doilies. Um, and then she knew my mom was a, you know, wonderful seamstress and we were both big into the, um, vintage patterns. So Missy said, I wanted to put this classy lady on the front of the, the postcard and it's just wonderful. So I, I made a page here, um, to, you know, remind me that there are people out there and I'm sure there's people out there that remember you and um, the nicest, simplest acts of kindness mean so much to me and I'm sure that they do you as well. So I got done with these pages and then that brings us over um, to the 17th and here, um, the 17th, I wrapped presents and 
I just thought it would be fun. I went back in one of my vintage, in my vintage um, magazines. I think it was Family Circle. And I found an ad in there and they had some really cool um, advertisements of games. And we always played games in my home. I'm sure you did as well. And these were three games that we were given each year at Christmas, Clue, Sorry, and Monopoly. And I just thought it would be fun to make a page, a, a pocket page, with the little tag in here. And then this tag will be written on. Um, I have a blank piece of paper here and a tag here. And what I plan on doing here is I'm going to list here what I received for Christmas this year. And then on this paper here that I have tucked in, I'm going to write here everything that um, Santa brought for my husband and my boys and my daughter-in-law. So then that way it's a good way to keep track of what, um, you know, what you give and what you get each year. So I thought these two pages were a lot of fun and very nostalgic. We come over to the 18th and the 18th uh, was Saturday and all I did was cook because my brother and his girlfriend were going to come on Sunday for the day. We were going to have our big Christmas celebration. And unfortunately, we had to reschedule because my husband was subjected to someone that had COVID. So we got a call late Saturday afternoon saying that the person my husband was with Thursday night had tested positive for COVID. So we had to put everything on hold. So we've rescheduled for um, January 1st for New Year's Day. So because I baked all day, I am going to dedicate a page to three recipes that I make every year. It's tradition. My mom made them. And these are copies of her recipes. Um, the first one is her spritz cookies. Now, all these recipes have to do with Philadelphia cream cheese, okay? So I just thought it would be a lot of fun and, and jello to um, do something with the Philadelphia cream cheese and the jello um, container and my mom's recipes. And the other thing that I think is important. If you have a recipe from your mom or your aunt, a cousin, your godmother, and it's in their handwriting, don't please don't rewrite it in your book or don't type it out. I think it's really special to have your loved one's um, handwriting. You know, don't throw away their handwriting because you'll never you'll never see it again once they've passed. So. To me, these I have these recipes down in my recipe book. So it's more about uh, my mom's handwriting. Um, okay, so this is a lime jello recipe. I call it lime. We've always called it lime slime. I don't know why, um, but it's a combination of jello, cream cheese, crushed pineapple, walnuts, um, lemon juice, and then. You also mix walnuts, your walnuts in with it, and then you layer the top of it. Um, you actually mix these mini marshmallows in with it, but they rise to the top. And then this recipe is for the spritz, and this has cream cheese in it. And then we have a really, really good dill dip that my mom always made. And that is with sour cream, mayonnaise, Lowry salt, dill, and chopped onion. Um, so, and if anybody wants any of these recipes, please comment and I will get them to you because they're all really, really good. So I just thought it would be fun to do just one day, um, the 18th using the Jell-O, the Philadelphia cream cheese. I have the Jell-O wrapper because it smells like, smells like lime Jell-O and I have the... I have the cream cheese wrapper here that I have washed and dried really well. So, okay, let's get started. Let me readjust my camera again. All right. 
And I'll try to keep this out of view because I think this is really going to um, bugger up my the lighting. And I'll try to do this fast. I know I've talked quite a bit in the beginning. Um, so I do, but I don't know what I want to do with this, if it makes sense to you. I'm thinking about making a the cream cheese pocket here. And all I did was I just folded this, folded it in half, folded these two down for just a little extra oomph. And then I'm folding these over like this. Um, but I'm thinking about putting this here and possibly putting, I don't know, the recipes. Like I said, I just, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do yet. Um, and I think I'm going to cut this down and make a tag out of this. And I'm really not good with not knowing what I'm going to do. I know a lot of people can just really, really, really work um, quickly with, I'll just cut these off just for the, Heck of it. And move these over to the side. It might be kind of cute to do a little trifold, a little trifold something. And then you can open that up. Also, did you know there's a shortage of cottage cheese, which I think is hysterical. Um, so maybe we could do this a little trifold. That would be kind of cute. I don't really want to put that on the front because I want this to show right around here. And let's see if I can put a little... Just a little Christmas decor on it. We'll get it all partied up. We could do some washi tape. We could do that. I've got some plaid here. And that might be good. Yeah, I'm an old sap from way back. My boys always laugh at me because I cry uh, when we watch Home Alone. I think I've seen it like 82 gazillion times. And it doesn't matter how many times I've seen it. I still burst into tears. Um, I'm just a real... I'm a real sap. My dad um, was a very sentimental person, and when something got to him, he would he would start to cry. And my mom was the strong one; she had that stoic, so you know, stoic things. All right, we can do that. I don't know why I pulled this. I just thought this might be kind of fun to use. Just to dress it up a little bit. And put that there. And I don't think it needs a lot. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know what I'm looking for. I could cut that down and put the point poinsettias in there. That would be pretty. Let's see. Okay, let's do that. So 
I think what I will do here, and then I think that's all that this needs. For that, I don't think it'll stick, stick real quick, quick. Move that down a little bit. A little bit more. Okay, I think that's good. And I'm not sure how this will stick on there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add some tape to the back side. I'm going to add a row of tape on the bottom because this is, you know, the shiny, like a tin foil type. And I'll add some glue here. So I'd love to hear if anybody else has used, um, you know, a cream cheese wrapper or um, what else could you use? I know your cake mixes and things like that. You have a, you can use a pudding container. I just thought this would be kind of different and fun. It has a little bit more meaning than just using a, you know, piece of scrapbooking paper than, and sticking it on there and talking about, you know, the recipes and such. There, that's cute. I don't need anything more than that. So that's going to be our pocket. And that was my other, I was wondering if I should put it there or if I should put it, I may put it right over here because I really want it to show. And then I can do something else behind this here. Um, so I think we're gonna put that there. if this will work here. Yeah, I don't know if that will. What I may have to do, I really want that. I don't think that will stick down. Okay, so now we're going to try something else. Because the um, pocket is going to be right here, I think what I will do is get some paper and maybe I will just tape it and it can be any old paper just something that I'm really not going to use so I'm just going to roughly cut this down and what I will do What I will do is, let's see if I can tape this to the back side, and then I'll tape, I'll glue this down or tape this down to the. Um, so I've never, as you can tell, I have never worked with this type of foil before. So let's see if this will stick to it. All right, so that will. And then I'm just going to clip this a little bit here. I'm just gonna clip that away. There, and then we have our little pocket there. So now, um, I think what I will do is I'm going to 
I'm going to glue this on right here on the paper. All right. Oh, let me get the top because that actually isn't going to be the pocket area. I was thinking that that because the pocket is already right. The pocket's right here. So we're going to put this on. Put this on over here. I think this goes nicer on this side. And I don't like I said I don't want it. I don't want it covered up. I think this is really cute. There. And then, like that, we're going to let that dry. I'm going to flip this over and let this... I'm going to give this a little... A little little help here with it drying okay so that looks like it's adhered because that's coming through just want to make sure this side is okay all right I think that looks good with that side there so over here I'm going to have to we have my mom's recipes all right we have the recipes okay so now we have the jello so I think maybe we could put the jello right here that would be fun on that little and then we could slip some recipes in that little money pocket all right and I'm going to use this one because it is standing up well not standing up but it's right it's right side up. Oh boy. Okay. And it's right side up. Today I received a very nice um, direct message from another gal across the pond, Julia. Um, we've been friends and I've bought a lot of ephemera from her over the past few years and she's just a sweetheart. So she sent me a really nice message today, a, a Merry Christmas message. So like I said, you never know who's thinking of you. I got a, a beautiful Christmas card um, from Tanya. Here's the Christmas card um, from Tanya over at Taddy Treasures. And she sent me these beautiful little, all this fun little ephemera. To Barbie, have an unforgettable Christmas time. Wishing you and your family health and happiness for the new year. Love, Tanya. So um, that came and that warmed my heart. There's just so many wonderful people out there. And I do um, Christmas cards for family and people that I don't get to see too often. And then I do, I like to do um, for my business and other people, I like to do really nice handmade um, New Year cards. So I'll be working on them um, next week after Christmas, and I'll be sending them out. Because there's less pressure when you do a New Year card. I can write a, a nice letter um, to my friends in there. I do, I don't, you know, I like to send a little something, and it's just nice. It's a nice way to start the year. Um, through a through a letter, you know, and a New Year's New Year's card. So this is the Jello. Oh, and it smells so good. Still smells like lime. 
lime jello. So I think I'm going to put a little bit on here. I'm going to rip and tear. And then I'll have that nice smell of jello in there as well. When I was a kid growing up, I refused to eat this. It just looked slimy to me, and that's why I called it lime slime. My mom would say, come on, it's all ready, you know, or she put it out on the buffet, and I'm like, I'm not eating that, Mom. It's disgusting. It's it's gross. It's It looks slimy. It's, ugh. Well, she goes, she goes, I'm telling you, you don't know what you're missing, and I'm like, oh, I do know what I'm missing. I don't want any part of it. Well, the minute I took a scoop, she goes, just try it, just try it, just try it. I'm like, okay, all right. I took it. It was like, oh my God, it's like candy. I I can't stop eating it now. And it's just been a tradition um, in my house. So my boys like it, but, you know, again, it's always, why do you have to put nuts in it? Why does everything have to have walnuts? So my mom spoiled them, and she always made one without walnuts and then one with walnuts. So, okay, so we're going to put that there like that. Um, and then I'm going to find some fun Christmas, something a little Christmassy up there. Not sure how far this is coming down, so I don't want to put too much glue all at once. So I can always add, add glue and I may have to take some glue away. <sighs> okay, we're gonna put that there. I'm going to wait in case I want to put something. Now, I want to put, um, I have two 18s. So I'd really like to use this, but what I might do is tuck this in. And I may write on this, um, and then I can talk about the 18th, which I think will come out really nice. And then my mom's recipes, I'm going to... Um, I think feature a couple here and then I may tuck the other one in. I just have to decide how I want to do this. Um, and that's what I wasn't sure of. I could do that and I still want to do, I want to do a tag. Um, maybe I can over here do a three way. Um, I could do a cute three-way right up here. And then I could put my mom's lime slime recipe right here. I think I'll do that. All right, so let me see over here. Maybe I can find a nice poinsettia. I do like these. I haven't used many of these. I hope I'm in camera. I hope I am in camera working on all this. Because I would hate for you to miss out. So I think that's, I think, I like that. You like that? I think that's pretty. I think that's really pretty. So we're going to go with that. So, so I don't lose my position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue... A little bit here just to tack that down just so I don't lose that position right there and then when I put this back on here I want to see again how far so we're going to go from say this point across this point across Here we go. All right, so we got 
this. Put this down a little bit. We got that point crossed. Okay, we got this. I'm just going to fold this over to get this down. It's a it turned out to be a beautiful day here. Um, it was cold. I had to be at Walgreens this morning at 8 a.m. I had to pick something up. And um, then I had to run out again at 10. Um, I'm getting my booster tonight at 540. So I got to run back to Walgreens for that. So I wanted to get this video made and I want to get some things wrapped. There, I like that. I think that's, I think that's pretty. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because even though I have the 18th over here on this side, I want this page to be all for the 18th as well. So here's my little um, 18 here. And I think maybe Let's see. I could. I don't want to attach it to that. Let's put this on afterwards because I want to get this down. So we'll work on that. I do want to get the... Where's the lime slime? This is the lime jello recipe. So I think I'll put the lime jello recipe right here. And I'm going to back that with a little bit of, I saw some red paper in here. And I don't know if this will fit the bill. Well, maybe if I put it, let's see, this is going to be cutting it close. This is going to be cutting it close. I just need a little tiny bit of red. And that may do it. I'm going to put one small piece of tape on. And we are going to really... work this here. So I'm just going to snip that, leave that, and I'll leave that. So let me see how close I can get this. So if I put that just like that, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Just enough to take away a lot of that white. All right. So that'll be good there, like that. All right, so now, look at how dry my hands are. I've been, because I've been out so much today, I've been washing them constantly and I haven't bothered to put any lotion on. Okay. All right. And we are going to put, we're going to attach that right there like that. And I think I'm just going to use my tape roller because it's not for a pocket or anything. All right. And we're going to put this right here. All right. All right, that's good. And then we're going to make this cute little guy right here. I'm going to take these other two recipes and I'm going to slide them right in here in this little pocket. 
and I love my mom. How <laughs> she very rarely took a recipe card. This was a little pad, obviously, and she wrote this down. And then this here was off of a bank cube. The bank used to hand out cubes of paper, and um, she wrote that recipe on there. So that's that was my mom. That was my mom. Okay, so they fit nicely in there, and I think maybe I could even I could attach the eighteen right over onto here. We'll put a little bow on there. All right, so we're gonna set this aside. How am I doing on time? All right, I'm at 35 minutes, that's good. Well, maybe not, might be a little bit longer because I had to take a break. So let's finish this. Um, and because we're doing the red, I think what I'll do is I'm going to get my hole puncher. Had to find my one inch my little one inch hole like i said i didn't have any plans i didn't know what i was going to be doing <clears throat> so i couldn't really get all of this stuff out and ready and i hate to put that there like that um what do you want to do what do you think we should do maybe i could just do a, a paper clip let me get that here. We're gonna we're gonna run this across the top again. So I'm just gonna keep this simple because I want that. I want this Philadelphia cream cheese to show. I don't want to cover it all up with paper. All right. All right. All right. So we have that. I'll put that like that. All right. And then um, I really would like to close this with something. I, you know what? Maybe I can. I can do this. What I could do. I do want that to all open up. So maybe I could find, instead of using the circle, oh, let's see here. There's something. Something, something, something. These might all be too big. I may have to go. Maybe if I put this, I could use this as a tuck to keep it closed. And I could put two brads right here. Um, two little red brads to hold that. And I think that might be cute. So, uh, I guess I could bring this over here. This is a little basket of, here we go. Here's my, there's my brads. And we could just get two red ones. Let's use these two right here. To hold that down. All right, so... Actually, if I did that, 
Now then that would be too hard to tuck in. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Like I was going to. So we want to get that right down around here. All right, so. All right, so we're going to take this and we're going to poke this right about here. Put that one there like that. And then we're going to put this one right about there. And then we're going to attach that and that will just that'll be a nice little flap so um, I am going to have to okay so here's my next you're gonna to have to help me if I put this down I may have to still put a little um, I can put a little, and again, I'm going to tape this because I think it will be stronger than if I were to glue it down. I'm just going to tape all this here. And I have a paper clip there. Okay, all right, so this is going to go up here. I think is really cute. And I probably didn't need to um I probably didn't need to There we go. There. Probably a little tie would have been better there, but I just didn't want to. I can even do it. I can do it this way as well. There, that would be better. I didn't want to cover up that Philadelphia. So there, so there's the recipe for the Jello with the cream cheese. And then my mom's recipes are over here. And then on the 18th, what I'm going to do here is um, I will journal. I will, this will be my journaling card. And that will be, that will tuck in there. And I'm also going to, um, take this and I can do I will do an extra little journaling card and then that way if I run out of room I can add this to it so I'm going to take a cute little plaid And I will make a cute little, I will make a cute little tag with the plaid as well. Because with the shortage of cream cheese going on, you can never have enough cream cheese, right? This way. I always forget, do I flip it over or do I, pretty much it's just right here. So I think with the plaid, it's kind of busy. Oh, see that didn't, that didn't work out. That didn't work out. 
out. So I'm just going to take a little bit. I'll just take a little bit more. We'll cheat. We'll cheat and do it that way. And then I'm just going to add this here. We'll do a quick little collage. And then I can I can write on the back of that. I like that. <sighs> that and that and let's see something. Just another little, just another little, how about that? How about that? Wishing everybody a Merry Christmas because um, what do you do with your cookies and your items that we also made fudge and that's I have a nice little gift box for my neighbor. I just have to whip up some doggy cookies later um, for her and her pup. Not her. She's not going to eat the doggy cookies, but <laughs> I don't know. Some of the cookies that I make the girls between the cheese and everything else, a human could eat them. They could be eaten by us. And I think I'm just going to put the um, wish you a Merry Christmas on here. And I could do. could make that into the top of the tag, but I'm not going to. I think that's just a little too much. I think that's a little too much and you don't need that. So I've got some pretty green ribbon here. I'm going to thread this through. This is a little wider. It's a little wider, but isn't it pretty? The sheer, the sheer ribbon. my pinking shears and there we have a nice little we have a nice little tag to go in with um, the 18th and maybe I will just you know what I don't I'm just going to put the little deer there because I can journal on the back here and I have other spots to journal. So I think this would be pretty just to have the deer peeking out, showing that it's the 18th. And then I have my tag here. And then I have all of these little journaling cards over in here as well. So, wow, that was a lot, wasn't it? I hope I didn't tire you out, I'm exhausted. Um, between, you know, the last three days, the 16th, 17th, and 18th. And I will put on the 18th um, here. I think, I don't think it needs a bow or a ribbon. Maybe I will just take another little, uh, we've got some blues going on. I'll take a little blue. We're going to put this right over here, like that. 
and I think I will just put this on and I think that will look I think that will be pretty we're gonna put that right here on the 18th there and I think that'll be really I think that'll be really pretty. So I hope you like this video, everybody. I know it was a lot. It was a lot to take in. Um, you got to hear my sappy story and all of that, but I really like it. So don't throw away your cream cheese containers, your jello containers. If you have a favorite cake mix, if your mom baked special cakes, use part of that. Um, use it up. Use what you have at home. You don't always have to use... Uh, you know, your scrapbooking paper or make crazy ephemera. Um, I think this is very festive. So yeah. So everybody have a wonderful, blessed day. If you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up. Give me a like. If you liked it, I'd love to have you subscribe. I just think this is so much fun. Um, you know, it just brings me a lot of joy. And I hope that I've been able to impart some joy and some new techniques with you today. So I'll see you later, everybody. Have a really great day. Bye-bye.